This is a fantastic world we live in. And we have many powerful creatures watching out for us humans at the bottom of the food chain. However, many Pokemon are out to kill you. Beware, for instance, Cofagrigus. Despite looking like a normal Egyptian coffin at first glance, it's one of the most dangerous Pokemon known to man. When you first encounter it, you may wonder what an ornate Egyptian tomb is doing in Unova, but by then, it'll already be too late. The first thing to do is to engage it in battle. I wouldn't suggest capturing it if you're unused to ghost types. If you can't defeat it, the Cophagrigus will begin its assault in earnest. First, it will open its body, revealing a cavity in which you might even see the mummified remains of its last victim, drained for all the nutrients and stored for leftovers. Then, it will send out its bandage-like tendrils to attempt to draw you in. If you're lucky, you'll have a knife to cut yourself free. Use it as soon as the tendrils draw near. If you have no knife, it's over. The best you can do is scream for help as the tendrils wrap around you and slowly pull you into the sarcophagus. If no one comes, you'll become the Cofagrigus' next source of food. As Professor Juniper finished, some Unovan teenagers on the cusp of going out into the world as trainers quit the career path on the spot and search for something less dangerous to do. But not my cousin Hilda. She'd always been so hard-boiled. She was last seen walking into Relic Castle, the home of Cofagrigus. We've heard since then that other trainers heard her blood-curdling screams, but they didn't make it in time. Thanks for sticking around to the end. And if you enjoyed today's story, make sure to leave a like. And if you want more like it, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss a story. If you need more now, why not check out my Pokepasta playlist? I'll leave that on this card, and I'll catch you in the next story.